Hello and welcome back to Chloe Kitchen Kitchen. If you're a big fan of Vietnamese food and love for sauce, then you should keep watching because we will be making one of Vietnam's most popular dishes. Today I will show you how to make bun xiao. I know there are pre-made mixture of bun xiao available in Asian grocery store, but depending on your regions, there might not be an Asian grocery store available to you. Therefore, we will be making our own batter from the very beginning. I am very excited to share this dish with you. So, let's get started. Here are the ingredients for the batter. Spring onion, tapioca starch, tempura flour, rice flour, beer, salt, turmeric, coconut milk. Now, let's mix all the ingredients together. Let's check out the dipping sauce ingredients. Sugar, fish sauce, vinegar, chili pepper, water, and garlic. Garlic is the most important ingredient to make dipping fish sauce. I like to use the mortar to green out extra garlic aroma. In a small bowl, we will now add 2 tablespoons of fish sauce, 10 tablespoons of water, 2.5 tablespoons of sugar, and 1 teaspoon of vinegar. Finally, we add the garlic and the chili pepper. Now, let's prepare the filling. Use the soup pot, add pork belly to the big pot with 3 strip of spring onion heads. Then bring the water to boil. Make sure to remove the scum that is floating on top. Let's wash the mung beans until the water is clear. Soak it for 15 minutes, then drain the water out. In a small saucepan, add the soaked mung bean and add an equal amount of water. Use high heat to bring it to boil. Then switch it back to low heat. Cook the mung bean till it's soft. Poke the meat to check if the meat is ready. If there is no blood coming out, you can take the meat out of the pot and cut it into thin slices. Now all the ingredients are ready, let's fry the bun cell. First, we will heat up some oil to saute the onions, green sprouts, and pork belly on medium to low heat. Once you can smell the onion aroma, Add one little of mixed batter to the saucepan and evenly spread it out, then cover the lids. With this cooking method, you do not need to add too much oil to pan fry the bun cell. Then, I will add 1 tablespoon of mung beans. It will take about 4 to 5 minutes per cake to complete. Once the edge turns golden brown, the bun cell is ready. Fold it and serve with fresh herbs and dipping sauce. Now we can start eating. Wrap the bun cell with lettuce, 
Thai basil and mint and dip it in the sauce and enjoy the result of your hard work. A different style to eat ban sao is with rice paper. First, we will soak a sheet of rice paper in lukewarm water until it softens. Now, we wrap the cakes and the herbs inside it. Here are the details of the price per serving. Batter is 71 cent, filling is 20 cent, dipping sauce is 2 cent. The total per serving is 93 cent. If you want to save more money or can't find rice flour at your local grocery store, you can make your own rice flour. Just use 2 cups of rice and blend it. Later on, I will review the batter made with homemade rice flour and the pre-made one. Here, I have rice flour that I bought in the grocery store. It is very fine and the sizes are very consistent. But at the same time, it has lost a lot of the rice aroma. This over here is homemade rice flour. It might not be noticeable on the camera, but it is a very little bit more grainy than the bought one. To see the grain size affected the batter, I made a few bun cells to compare. All right, so the dishes are ready. Um, on my left side, this is the one that I make with the powder. And on the right side is the homemade rice flour. And let's test out the texture and the flavor and also the aroma. So the homemade rice flour versus the pre-made rice flour, the texture is actually very similar. I prefer the homemade rice flour because it has a stronger rice aroma and it's cheaper and also saves you a trip to the grocery store. If you use the homemade flour, the price per serving will drop about 11 cents. Have you tried bun sale before? Are you going to try this recipe? What filling would you like to add in bun cell? And also, what style would you prefer? Let me know in the comments down below.